Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Tori from Mr. and Mrs. and this is What's for Dinner. So our daughter and I had seen a video, hope oh, this isn't working out too good, where they took potatoes and paper thin sliced them with a mandolin, which we did. And then you dunk them in a combination of onion powder, garlic powder, fresh garlic, parsley, and butter. I also added salt and um, multi peppercorn pepper. And then you place them in cupcake, a cupcake pan in layers, which I have sprayed. And these aren't really, these aren't really pliable, James. Well, they're potatoes. Oh man, it's going to be another. Put the smaller ones in first and put the bigger ones on top. Oh yeah. Build a backwards pyramid. Okay, I'll try that. All right, so I'm going to take Mr.'s advice. What would I do without Mr.? And start with the small ones, and then we'll build our way up to the, the big ones. promise I got you big potatoes when you wanted potatoes. <laughs> I jamesified that sucker. That's a, good, <laughs> that's a good problem to have. You wanted four, I gave you five. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot. No, we're getting low. We're down to like 35 pounds. Um. No such thing as too much potatoes. No, no. Like Especially that. in here. All right, let's try that. We're going to fish out the small ones. <laughs> Why wouldn't I think of that? Well, I guess in the video, they um, started with the big ones and then went to the small ones. I think this will make it much easier, though. Because it made, like, little cups. <laughs> I started using my fingers instead of my tongs. Okay, so give me just a minute. We're going to keep layering this. Okay, so I'm trying to dig some of the smaller potatoes out of here. I think it's this recipe is actually better for smaller. And then I'm just layering them in. And then we will bake these at 350. I'm pushing them down to 350 for about, I think it said 10 to 12 minutes. I have a feeling it's going to take a little longer. Um, but we'll I'll keep an eye on them and keep checking. But you just keep layering them. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh, it's easy. A different way to have potatoes. The other thing I'm going to do is because I made so many, because we're heavy handed, I'm going to take a tray and line it with parchment paper. Oh, I'm going to do a stack like a volcano. Yeah. That'd be cool. Okay. You want to uh, give me just a minute and then we'll work on a stack so that you could show that? Yeah. Okay, YouTube, so we sliced the potatoes super thin. I kept them in cold, salted water until I was ready to use them. Um, after I sliced them all up, they were all in the cold water. I placed them on a drying mat and then patted them dry with a towel so that the butter and seasoning mixture would stick to them. Then I dunked them in a combination of fresh garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, try cracked pepper, a pinch of salt. Mm, I'm trying to think, did I put anything else in there, James? Salt, Black pepper, pepper, garlic, garlic, onion. onion. Just butter, right? Butter. Oh, and fresh garlic. Yeah, that was it. We put fresh garlic in there as well. And then you, I lightly sprayed a muffin tin and then you layer the potatoes in there um, and then I keep pushing them down as well and then we had a lot left over so now we are just making oh, we can't get this one potato stacks I think I'm gonna run out of butter I've used two sticks of butter so far this is not a calorie friendly recipe but that's not what we're looking for 
We're also going to, we have um, a bag of Paula fillets that we're just going to lightly bread and um, oven bake. Oh, that's loud, right? Sounds like a dinner bell. You know what I can do? I can condense these stacks. bake these again at 350. I think it says 10 to 12 minutes. I think it's going to take longer than that, especially for these bigger stacks. I'm going to try to do it without making any more butter. Mixture. This is cool though, right? Something different? Yeah. So it's kind of like fish and chips, or a version of fish and chips, when all is said and done. How did your, how's your potato volcano looking? Not really good, I didn't do a good job. Let me check your work when you're done. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> That's definitely going to be cool. Yeah, you know, before you married me, you probably should have asked if I could cook. If you could build volcanoes out of potatoes? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because that would have definitely been a you know deal breaker there if you couldn't. Yeah. That's a good deal breaker. Thanks to YouTube, you now can become a professional potato volcano maker. All right, we'll put them in the oven. Okay, we just want to give a 15 minute update. Nowhere near ready. Nowhere near ready? Uh, yeah, I don't think. Well, I like things well done. So, yeah, probably most people wouldn't uh, agree with that. Yeah, they don't look done, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, probably another 20, 25 minutes. You're asking me or telling me? Because I don't know. I'm thinking another 20, 25 minutes. It's probably going to be like 40, 45 minutes total. If you think because they're so thin. Because you can make a baked potato in an hour. Yeah. So because they're so thin, yeah. it shouldn't take that long. You would think it'd be quicker. But because we're stacking them. Mm. 40, 45. Ready for an update? I'm waiting on you. I'm just a cameraman. Oh, the bottom ones are rocking and rolling. Whoa. The top one's not so much. The top ones are like a volcano. It's got to build before the... <laughs> yeah, I could have probably, as opposed to dunking the potatoes in the butter mixture, I could have taken one of these silicone brushes and just brushed it on. Hmm. <laughs> Try again tomorrow. Cause they're looking good. <laughs> we'll have them for breakfast too. <laughs> All right, YouTube. So this is kind of the final version. That's a lot of butter, James. I put a lot of butter. That it's a, literally boiling. That is a bucket of goodness right there. <laughs> and then these are just the stacks. But I think they're going to be good, right? Next time, I think I'm just going to brush the butter on as opposed to, um... Give him a butter bath? Yeah, swimming <laughs> in the butter. <laughs> butter is good on potatoes. Yeah, well, there's a lot of it, so I hope it's good. It's going to be good. All right, have a great day. Like, share, subscribe.